Hey, it's Craig with Shedheads. It's January 20th. I'm out with Eric and just found a match set. January 20th, Indiana. Check it out. Oh, it looks good too. Aha. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Check it out. Check it out. Aha. Look at that. One's stuck up in the tines up, tines down. One of them's kind of pitchforked. Freaking nice and fresh. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Time to start walking a lot, checking things out, finding them, picking them up. This is what it's all about right here. What do you think? Sweet. Look at that. Huh. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go find some more. Maybe his buddies are hanging around here. Check it out. So freaking pumped. That one got dirty. That's snow white. Ha. Huh. Boom. Out on a late January shed up with my buddy Eric. And just picked up a real nice match set over here in the, the shea field. Fresh, beautiful set. Come up here and uh, see another one sticking up right over here. Let's go see what we got. Oh, that looks good. That's, a, that's an old one. That thing, that's a year old. Huh. This, this is that same buck. This is the right side off of the set we just found. So we just found his fresh fresh set from this year and just found last year's shed right here, probably within 150 yards of that. And I believe I have this shed, the left side, from last year too. So I missed this one. So you can miss him. But I got it. Look, he's a green. Oldie moldy. Yeah, I'm sure. Dude, I am sure this is the same, the same buck as that set we just found. We're gonna have to match them up and see what we got. All right, let's keep hammering. We're hammering it today. I swear. Look up here. Can you see it up there? Yeah. Pines down. Let's see what we got. Another one. Just picked this one up 10 minutes ago. Coming up this edge of this old cow pasture, and uh, it's real pretty out here. There's what is? It's open areas. I'm trying to stay in open areas because it's early. But there's crops out there. The bedding area is up on the hill, so we're not touching that. We're going to stay away from it. But hitting all these low-lying spots where middle of the day out in the wide open, I don't have a problem with it. But right over here, there's tines down. Let's see what we got. And it's an, it's an old one, too. Yeah, it's an oldie. Check it out. Huh. Real tight curved. Got some bladed to it. It's dirty. Um, it's like pure mud on the end. But it don't matter. Look at that. What do you think? That's sweet. We're tearing it up today. Mud. Muddy base. It's an old antler. That's that's kind of cracked too. That might have been here. That might have been here a couple years. I don't know, maybe he was drinking out of this and just got it. There's a little water hole right here. So, water holes are always good. All right, man. That's four already today. I'm gonna have to slow down. I'm gonna be able to haul out of here. All right. I believe it's the sixth, maybe seventh of March. My two month old has really kept me busy. Being kind of a stay-at-home dad and all the fun stuff of that. And then I got a four-year-old I got to put on a bus every morning and get her back at 1230. That's really kept me out of the woods for the longest time. And it's been kind of a pain just to get out, honestly. When I do have free days, it's rain almost every day. 
Well, I set aside two days to finally get free. Figured I'd get out here, do my best. And uh, I've been walking for about an hour. Just kind of cruising through some spots I'd already walked. I'm checking out some area I've really not checked out much. I'm looking up and I see a big one. I don't know if it's a freshie or not. It's pretty white. But uh, it don't look chewed or nothing. So I'm going to get up there and get a hold of it. It's only about 20 yards from me. Looks like a big one though. So let's go check this out. All right. It's a freshie and it's a nice one. Big eight point. I don't see the other side yet. This one's a stud. Oh yeah, he's got a kicker, nice. This is a big buck. Big, nice, thick mass. Nice big buck. I'm gonna keep looking around in this area. Maybe the other one will be laying. Hopefully not too far, just about the size of this one. I wouldn't figure he'd be awful, awful far from here. That's pretty cool. First one of the year. No chew. Very nice. Probably been sitting here for a couple weeks, but that's what we're after. Big, big sheds, big mass. This thing's a stud. I'm going to snap a few pictures. Keep on moving. Well, I've been walking for about four hours now. <laughs> I'm getting a little hoarse. But, uh, you know, you always have that in your head, like... What if I find two bucks locked up and you never think it's going to happen? I just found 260 inch 10 pointers right here locked up. Monsters, just absolute monster bucks. I thought it was one when I was walking up to it. They're locked up, stuck together in there. One was on one side of the fence, the other was on the other. This is right at the property line of where we can hunt. And I never really get this close to the fence. The creek's right over here, you never really think You'd never see anything like this, so I was just kind of looking to see if any deer drop their sheds here. Two giants, so check this out, it's crazy. Never see anything like it. The walk's been well worth it today. I don't know either of these bucks offhand. It's weird. I might know the one. I think I might have a shed from two years ago, but uh, no guarantee on that one. I'm trying to get them off the spine so I can carry them back to the truck. I got about a few hundred yards to go. So see if I can get them loose and then we'll get them out of here and clean them up. Hey guys, I wanted to do a real quick follow-up video. Um, the two locked up bucks were trying to figure out for sure, but we believe they might go number one for uh, Indiana locked up bucks. But uh, I got them pretty much cleaned up. I wanted to show you a little better video of them. See kind of what we really got here. Just two absolute giant monster bucks. For around here, these are these are buck of, a, buck of a lifetime for a lot of people. Um, like I said, I think I got this guy's shed. I wanted to show you that real quick. It's going to be a little difficult, but this is two years before. I don't know how well you can tell, but two years before, and that's what he did in just two years. Just a hoss. But that's the one that went 169. Not a buck I actually thought was going to do a whole lot, but he did. He, uh, he really blew up, and I think this other buck, back in 2012, I got video of him as a three-year-old. He had a kicker off his G2 then, but I'm pretty sure that's him, so he's he's way up there in age. That's these guys. Uh, very cool. Unique. Something I'll probably never find again. Um, it's really kind of starting to set in that that's, you know, the find of a lifetime for tons of people. Even Craig himself said, you know, he's hunted for 20-so years or more, and Never has he ever found locked up bucks, and I uh, thought it was pretty cool. But this is the, the other antler I found. I didn't get a real good close-up on it or anything. Really cool. I didn't know it had this. It was actually covered up by a leaf, but I knew it had that little kicker. Very heavy. Probably one of my 
biggest antlers not saying much because I don't find a whole lot so yeah that's uh he's gonna be a big one I mean he's already a big one but I'd like to see this buck this year if he's still alive I'd say he is but big heavy really cool Let's see if that'll focus in for you very very cool probably one of the biggest palmated bucks I've found so I thought that was pretty cool. I just want to do the follow-up video with, you know, the finds of that day and everything. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we can figure out for sure if those go number one. If they do, I might go two full-body fighting bucks mounts, you know. I haven't fully decided yet, but very cool. Kind of a sad ending, you know, to the big bucks. But at the same time, 332 inches of bone is, is a lot. And I'll probably never find anything else that substantial or whatever you want to call it that amazing but uh yeah that's, that's kind of like shooting a 200 inch buck right there subscribe to our youtube channel like and share everything uh, check our instagram out it's uh, true buck outdoors 7 um hit us up on facebook we really like to get some more feedback from our fans we're kind of teaming up with shed heads a good buddy of mine uh, hopefully we can bring you a lot more shed hunting videos and a lot more action. I mean, we're going to do a lot of hunting this year with Craig and everybody, so we'll see what happens. You guys stay tuned.